Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So I've got another Erin Condren haul for you for 2020. So this was actually sent to me. It's the first time that Erin Condren have actually reached out to me and offered to send me something free of charge, which is amazing. I have been running this channel now for like four years and I've always bought all the Erin Condren stuff myself because I love it and I believe in it as a brand. So to have them reach out and send it to me for free it was incredible so I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use this to get organized in 2020 if you see anything you like in the video I'll link it underneath so that you can purchase it yourself if you want to and if you're new to Erin Condren there will be a link under the video that if you use that link to sign up for a Erin Condren account you will get emailed a $10 off your first order coupon so that's pretty cool hey so let's see what they've sent me. So I have got the colourful jewel tip markers. This is in the colour Tropics. There are the lined sticky notes. There is a pen holder. There is a plenty pack in this black and white design. There is a lined black soft bound classic notebook. And we'll look at all of this in a lot more detail in a minute and we've got a soft bound life planner in the larger size and this is obviously a 2020 calendar and it's in a vertical layout so we're gonna have a look at everything and we're gonna set this baby up for 2020 so this is in this simply gorgeous metallic -y silver kind of color or a metallic -y charcoal -y gray what do we think the color is here lovely really really like it and it's got rose gold there um, and all around it all the accents are in this gorgeous rose gold and it's a lovely lie flat design so this will be perfect for me to use at work that's my plans mainly with this but I also want to put in there some kind of personal goals and um, plan out my personal life too so it's going to be a bit of everything really but I do think it will work well as something for work so it's the neutral colorway which is interesting i've never really gone for neutral before i've tended to stick with colorful because i've always thought that was kind of more me so i'm interested to see how i can make it a little bit more colorful using some of the stickers and things so here is my life planner just to give you a bit of a comparison for size so side by side it is a little bit larger um, and thickness wise the life planner is a bit thicker and obviously has the rings whereas the soft band life planner does not and i'll just open up this soft bound notebook for you so you can look at this so this is black with a gold trim and it's just lined it's got these little page markers here at the top and these come in a range of colors has a little quote there at the front and also a little ribbon so you can keep your place I actually purchased one of these myself and had it personalised um, in the purple with kind of silver colourway so you can just see the difference in the different notebooks but these I think will be great for just taking notes in meetings and stuff at work and I love how it's got this little ribbon so I can kind of keep my place in it. So let's have a look at this plenty pack. So like I said, it's black and white. This has got a gold trim. So this goes absolutely perfectly with this notebook because the colours are exactly the same. It's totally made for it. Um, and what I like about this, it's got this little zip compartment here. So you can put pens in there and stickers and clips and whatever else you want. And then on the back, it's got a little slip pocket so you can put stickers or whatever other bits and pieces you might need in there and you can of course use it on a bigger planner like this so it's great because it keeps it closed as well in your bag and you've got your pens and stickers and whatever else you need in there so I'm going to go ahead and set this up like I said for 2020 so obviously I'll be putting my name and number and stuff on here it's got these gorgeous quotes i really like the colors actually in this even though it is neutral the colorways are lovely so this page i will just use to kind of make notes on um things like school holidays so i know when the kids are off when we can go on holiday when i'm going to be on annual leave stuff like that and from something i already own from erin condren this is the um 
Cool for School Design and Sticker Book Edition 3. At the back of this, we have got these little um, coloured dots. So I'll use some of these so that I know, um, like I said, I can just kind of mark when they're off. So I know that this one here is a, like a week where they're on um, off school for the week for half term in February. So I just put that little dot on there. <clears throat> and then I can make notes and stuff there at the bottom. And here, so new beginning, new mindset, new focus. This is a massive, massive thing for me this year. So I really, really want to focus on lots of different kind of goals. So I'm going to fill them in for you now and just let you know kind of my thinking and what some of my goals are. This is also a great opportunity for me to use these new Tropics markers that have been sent and show you kind of how they write on this page. If you've not used the markers before, they do actually have um, two different thicknesses. So there's the kind of fine end and then there is the, yeah, the medium end, which is that little bit thicker. So you've kind of got an option of what kind of thickness you want to write in. So here is my kind of first six goal sections using those pens. I'll just show you on the other side. So there's no bleed through or anything like that. Um, and they look really nice on the page, nice range of colours and what have you. So I'll share with you my different goals for the year. So drink two litres of water every day. And how I'm doing that, I'm using this water drop water bottle and this is really helping me to increase my water intake and I'm easily managing two litres, sometimes more every day. And if you want to know a bit more about how I use this and exactly what it is, I'll be doing a separate video. So if you are setting yourself up for some new kind of positive goals in January or for 2020, definitely check that out. Daily 30 minute brisk walk. So I have a desk job and I worry that sitting or standing still all day isn't good for me. So I try and incorporate 30 minutes um, of a brisk walk at lunchtime just to get that little bit of exercise in. Spend time working on the future me. This is just about the fact that in the evenings when I finish work, I'm reading a book, watching telly, chilling out, which is all great. But I know I waste a lot of time with that and social media and the internet and stuff and I just want to set aside some time to work on the future me so underneath and I plan to do this for everything but for now I've just jotted down some ideas I want to update my CV I also want to look at the possibility of doing um, studying for a new qualification in my spare time as well I want to practice mindfulness kind of build that into my everyday as well just to kind of lower stress I ideally want to be in bed by 10 o'clock every night at the latest because otherwise I'm tired especially if I have a busy kind of week work a week um reduce snacking i'm a terrible terrible snacker i have so much sugar and junk and i shouldn't and i know it's not good for me and i really want to reduce that so the way i'm going to do that is with a food journal and for that if you've watched one of my previous videos you'll see um i've got the erin condren um folio and in here i've got the wellness log if you've not seen this i'll link the video at the end so as part of the wellness log it gives you the opportunity to note down what you've eaten for breakfast lunch dinner and your snacks you can track things like water intake steps um hours slept so i think this is going to be a great um tool for me to really kind of focus down on what I'm eating, what I'm doing and see where my kind of bad habits lie and try and make healthier habits going along. Another one I want to incorporate, which I've not written in there yet, but I will be doing is around having more kind of no spend days, not buying things I don't need um, and really looking at saving a little bit more money. I'd love to update my laptop that I do um, all my editing on. So that might be something I use as like a um, kind of positive, thing to focus on by doing the no spend thing in the end I'll get like a better laptop and stuff so I like the idea of building in a kind of reward for doing something good so I'll also be using my um, budget book as well to really map out um, where my money's going and how I can reduce that and how I can save more money again another Erin Condren um, one they have lots of different covers now on these budget books but the 
um, interior is pretty similar and it's uh, nice to have something pretty to kind of track these little things on I think. So that's how I'm going to use this. I'm going to try and turn to this every day, make sure I'm kind of keeping on top of these different things I've set myself. So then we're into the kind of month itself. So January, passion and purpose give you progress. Nice big sheet of lined paper there if you want to write anything down. And um, then we've got the dot grid page, which is great because you can turn it into lines if you want, draw pictures, whatever you want to do with it. So monthly goals, a great place for me to, again, remind myself which of the goals I'm really focusing on this month. Obviously things like birthdays, space to keep other bits and pieces on there. So this is obviously the month of January. Um, so I'm going to add in everything that I've got planned this month. So here is my January. Just quite simply, I jot down um, what I'm doing if I'm working at at my workplace or one of my workplaces or if I'm at home I try to plan at least a day a week where I can work from home because I really find that that helps me really get the time to kind of focus on things and also um, on that day I get to pick my son up from school so I like kind of keeping up with that kind of thing and then for January the first because it was New Year's Day I just put this little sticker begin and inspiration will catch up which seems quite apt for January that came from the edition 5 classic sticker book um, and as you can see, I've just used a few different kind of coloured pens. So just the general what I'm doing work wise. And then, like I said, the little activities underneath. And I've also marked up where we're away for a weekend. This sidebar here, um, I'm still trying to decide how best to use this. I've used it previously to track things like no spends. So um, or like a total spend over a week or bills or I've done a few things with it. So I'm trying to still figure out what I think the best option is. Then you get into your weekly layouts and I will be filming separate weekly plan with me's. Um, so if you want to see those, definitely subscribe and click the notifications button and then you can watch how I plan my week in here. And then again, it just follows the same kind of pattern. Um, and like I said, I like the fact these books come with ribbons, even this big one, so I can easily open up to whichever page I'm going to be on especially as it, as it hasn't got the tabs in that the life planner has and um, it's an easier way to just get to where you are and then right at the back of the book um, you've just got some lined pages like this then you're into a plan of 2021 and I am a massive forward planner and I really like to plan um, holidays in advance and kind of get the best price on them and stuff. So I'd use this to kind of pencil in where I think I might be able to take leave and things like that and when the kids are off school um, and kind of make out a plan for the following year. And then it's just got this lovely little quote at the back. Um, yeah, and I think it's a really beautiful book. The other thing I was going to do, um, I actually purchased this leather case from Erin Condren a short while ago it's got my initials um, embossed in there and I thought this would be lovely to use at work because it looks pretty professional um I'm not sure yet the book's gonna fit um as it's new it required a little bit of cooperation to <laughs> kind of get that in there um, but I like it. it's got these little business card slots so I can put some business cards and stuff in there and um, it's got a little pocket here which I thought might be quite nice for like putting my phone in or maybe things like the pens which I'm currently using so they're not in the case but when they are it'd be quite useful for that there's also a space here to put a pen and a pocket here which fits Things like um, sticker books fit in there and also some of the little notebooks like I've got um, a petite journal that I've not actually used yet, I've still got it in the packaging um, but that fits nicely in there and then it all kind of zips together um, and it'd be nice to kind of carry to meetings and stuff like that. It's got a cute little um, Erin Condren logo there on the zipper. Um, there's also a little pocket behind here as well so you can put other bits of paper stickers, whatever kind of stuff you need in there. I love how this little um, sticky list actually has a little sticky thing on the back. So you can actually keep it, um, like the way they've done it on this little card is if you're using a, 
um, coiled life planner you can actually stick it to the ruler thing that comes in and then it's just there when you need it but I think I will just use them as and when I want to I will just quite simply they're sticky I'll take them off and perhaps if I'm moving around some of the plans, they might change. I use something like this um, rather than writing it on the page and to cross it out or to fix it out or whatever. So I kind of would use this for a bit of pre-planning. And I also think it'd be fabulous as like a little shopping list or to-do list, that kind of thing. So I really like the kind of the design behind this. I think it's a really, really great option for that. Um, I've also got the pen holder, which I'm going to stick in this notebook. Sorry, not in this notebook. I'm going to stick it in this planner. So I'm just trying to think kind of where I want it. Perhaps there at the top, something like that. I love how they've sent me one that actually matches the planner as well. That's quite cute. So this, again, is adhesive. So I'm just going to pop it there um, and then it's easy to just keep a pen in. So sometimes I'll literally, if I'm actually in work all day and I'm going to a meeting, I can just pick up the notebook and pick up the diary and just take it straight to my meeting rather than having to carry a bag or even the case. Um, so in those cases, I will actually just appreciate having somewhere just to pop a little pen. Um, one of my favourite pens to write in the planners in is the Pilot G, G07, is it? G07? G27? I don't know. <laughs> I know a lot of people like these pens. Um, I, yeah, one of my favourites. So I'm now feeling like I'm going to be a little bit more organised in 2020. I'm looking forward to seeing how I can stick to my goals and use a lot of the things I already have, like I said, with the um, Condren Folio to really kind of plan these things out and make sure I succeed in these different areas. So I'd love to know um, what your plans are for 2020. Are you feeling organized? Are you gonna get a life planner and organize yourself? If so, definitely use the link under the video to get $10 off your first order. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I hope you will subscribe and stick along for a lot more um, positive 2020 videos along with things like plan with me's and more Erin Condren hauls. So thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.